Good evening, good morning, or good afternoon, wherever you are, and welcome to what might be the first of some, uh, like, discussion videos, possibly in the lead-up and beyond to uh, a lot of the uh, Sonic... The Sonic games that have recently been announced in Sonic Central, possibly anything that might get uh, announced during E3, perhaps. So, and um, these are probably, hopefully, not going to be too long. I don't. It depends on how long these discussions go on, but whatever happens, happens, I guess. And well, for joining me tonight is. Uh, a friend of mine and a fellow content creator. Say hello. Hello, I am the Super Mario Sonic lover. Um, I'm here to discuss uh, the Sonic news that just dropped today. Fantastic, yeah. And uh... so, yeah. Just getting into real quick, like what? Just in general, like what are you? Uh, what's what are your general like thoughts of? Uh, of the whole Sonic Central I don't know, presentation or something like that. Um, I liked the um, format of the presentation. I thought the direct kind of style, I suppose, was uh, very nice. Like, I know a lot, a lot of um, companies are like basically using that type of style now, and I think it works to just um, have showcase a bunch of uh, news in a rapid fire succession, um, and uh, yeah, I, I like I like the I like that um, style. Um, uh, I don't know if you want to want me to go into the actual stuff that got shown off, but um, I overall like, I'm not over the moon hyped necessarily, but I thought it was I thought it was all right. Um, there was some good stuff in there. I don't think it's particularly mind-blowing per se but um considering the fact that we've been kind of just in a drought for so many years now just having something is good <laughs> like... oh yeah definitely because uh, for the past like four years team sonic racing aside we've just been uh, we've just been kept in the dark about what's going on in regards to like developments at sonic team and the fact that it took a few uh, that we only ended up getting a few uh, getting this Sonic Central after uh, that French retail site ended up leaking a lot. Like that's kind of that's kind of odd to be honest. The fact that it took a lot of that yeah. before Sega decided, hey, what are we, uh, shall we actually decide to do something about this? Yeah, the fact that we had like all these leaks and stuff with like what is it like French websites or something uh, before we actually got concrete announcements from. Sega themselves is kind of telling. Like, we had, like, a bunch of radio silence for so long. The fact that a lot of this was probably going to end up being shown last year at South by Southwest is kind of weird as well. Mm. It, makes me, it makes me wonder in that case if um, that Sonic Zap or Sonic uh, Rangers or whatever was going to have that teaser back at South by Southwest last year. It makes you... Re um, go on. No, I was pretty much done. <laughs> it's funny, it's like... It makes me wonder how much of this was actually ready to show off at that point. Mm. Because I don't know if... Uh, I don't know how much of this was going to be shown off at South by Southwest, but like... Uh, we had, uh, But what we, had, what we had, basically, Sonic Colors Ultimates, uh, Rise of the Wisps, I don't know if that was going to, that was pre-prepared for a South by Southwest and not, or it was ready to go out by the, by the end of last year or anything like that, but, mm. but from what I heard, from what the, uh, the dubbing website said, it was a pair, Colors Ultimate itself was about apparently going to going out last year, or what, I don't know whether that was a placeholder or not. I don't know. Mm. I can kind of believe that in a in a sense because I'd imagine because of like pandemic and all that they probably just kind of moved every every one of their projects like to the next year or something. So colors which would have come out came out last year comes out this year now, and then like the new big big game that was supposed to come out by the end of this year comes out next year instead so I, 
I can kind of believe that in a way. It's so it's. I mean, obviously, it's probably stuff like the Amazon Luna versions or and the PlayStation Now uh, uh, versions of Mania TS Armed Forces. Um, I don't. I th they were probably a recent thing. I don't think they'd wait until like a year or two late, uh, nearly two years later now to uh, say, by the way, these are coming to the Amazon Luna. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like I feel like deals like that were still being uh, processed, like probably towards the end of last year. That's, yeah, that's, that's a fair point. So, so I what, do feel like on. a lot of the, I, I do feel like a lot of things got um, like paused or what have you. At the very least, the pandemic hit the industry, the industry hard. Yeah. So first on the docket was Sonic the Sonic Symphony. That's good. I mean, having a orchestra for games is very cool. So I'm cool with that. I've always. I don't really have much to say about it, but <laughs> neither have I. But I'll tell, I'll say one thing: Orchestral Studiopolis was was actually something I never needed. Never knew. Never yeah. thought I needed. I do wonder. Yeah, I do wonder what songs they they choose. Like, would it be like I like select a few from various games? Like what? Are they gonna favor some over the others? Like, how are they gonna go about it? And before they uh, decide to choose some Sonic Chronicles music, God, take some Sonic that Chronicles. Amazing, music. that amazing uh, Diamond Duster remix. Oh God, the weird thing is that in Sonic Chronicles, uh, Diamond Dust was. I love Sonic uh, Sonic Three D's music, but it's kind it's kind of a uh, let's say maverick choice. Of uh, of of uh, songs to remix in that game. Mm. And I mean, the... I I don't know. Yeah. Sorry, were you about to say something? No. Or... Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, it is it, it is kind of telling though that um in SA one specifically they decided to remix a lot of 3D Blast soundtrack because <laughs> <Yeah>. like <laughs> let's put. This this music on a game that people are gonna more likely play. Yeah, because let's face it, three D Blast was exactly uh, well. Let's say well received. A lot of people actually, some people like it. It's not as dif I don't think it's di as divisive as Forces, but like no, I, I like three D Blast fine enough. Same, I, I like it even more now that we've got the D uh, the DX version out. But uh, but yeah, I like so it. it can be janky sometimes but <laughs> well, it's like fine and the less said about the special stages the better those things are easy yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then we got the confirmation that crush 40 was apparently meant to be showing at the sonic symphony mm. yeah that's, that's always going to be good are they, so are they going to be like uh play at Playing it alongside the symphony, like, are we going to get orchestral rock Sonic? I assume that no, I I, mm, I assume that they're just going to have their own uh, part of the show or something. Um, I don't I don't imagine they're going to have it be like alongside the orchestra stuff. Mm. I mean, that'll be interesting, but I don't see it happening. Well, well, the uh, well, apparently the uh, Sonic Symphony is uh, slated to come up, uh, to be broadcast for free on the uh, on the twenty third, which is Sonic's birthday. So, I guess we'll uh, see what happens. Insert free joke here. Oh God, free! <laughs> <laughs> okay, little in joke there. Right, so um. My notes here says weird AF Sonic suit guy at the Olympic Games 2020. Yeah, that was weird. I don't really know what to make of that, but that was funny. It's just like they we don't have an actual Marion Sonic Olympics game. That I mean, if um, Zippo was uh, legit, like apparently there was they were going to make one, but it just got scrapped. Um, so I guess if that's the case, is the replacement of that, which is hilarious. <laughs> like, 
It's so goofy looking, just seeing this giant guy in a Sonic costume just going around with these <laughs> realistic humans. Like, it's so weird. I know, and then it gets even worse when you look at Two Point Hospital, when you know in the hospital there's going to be a lot of people, like, sedated or, like, on some sort of uh, drugs that are kind of, um, that, that are making them see weird shit, like, they're hyped up on, like, morphine or something like that, and then they fucking see Sonic Shadow, Amy, Knuckles, and Tails just going around the hospital in, uh, like, ma like not even, li not even, like, uh, to the proportion, the massive, the actual life-size, uh, proper costumes god only knows what they're gonna think oh god if i was in a hospital and i just saw these giant sonic uh characters just walking around i would be terrified like what the hell is going on here you know like they're just just hyped up on morphine uh or, or something like that like a painkiller and then you just see uh you just see a massive sonic waving at you and it's like oh no it's like no. i had too much like Am I on drugs? Did I have too much to drink last night? <laughs> oh, I really feel sorry for the patients. <laughs> I truthfully don't have much to say about the Olympic, uh, the uh, twenty twenty slash twenty twenty one Olympic Games. Uh, I just think I don't. I don't really have anything either. I just think it looks freaking hilarious. <laughs> I might get it to play in my spare time, to be honest. Mm. But two point hospital, I really don't know. It's it sounds like a. Uh, a Sega version of uh, th uh, something like Theme Hospital or something like that. Mm. Apparently, um, it's um, a pretty good game from what I've heard, but I, I know nothing about it. So. Is, is it a mobile game? I don't know. It might be. Can we, uh, I'll, uh, I'll double check that and uh, yeah, in a bit. Yeah. And then after that, they uh, revealed Sonic the Fighter's uh, arcade cabinet in Lost Judgment. And now I've played Sonic the Fighters. It's a pretty good game, so I guess Lost Judgment players are gonna actually uh, gonna have a good time. Maybe I don't know. Mm. Yeah, I, I like to Sonic the Fighters. I I kind of wish that they put this um, on the uh, collection or whatever that we're gonna talk about later instead of like this like a, a arcade cabinet in um, this. Yakuza like game, but I mean, cool, I, think, I guess. I think it's in the same universe as the Yakuza games. I don't really know. I don't. Well, I, all I know is that it's meant to be inspired or something at least by them. Same. Well, Sega. Uh, Sega. It's, it's a Sega game anyway, so it's like. Right. And I think it's actually. Uh, this this might have been what the Yakuza guys actually teased, uh, like the day before. Oh, right. Yeah, maybe I can see that. Start saving those hundred yen coins or something like that. Yeah. No, I. That sounds about right now. Actually, now you mentioned that, because I I do remember. Like, I thought it was going to be something else personally because I, like, um. The Yakuza guy has talked about wanting to make a Sonic game before, so I thought it was honestly going to be something more like that, but... Uh. Yeah. Just moving some stuff down. Um, okay, what's... Well, regardless of that, but some at least people uh, playing uh, played on uh, current gen will actually be able to play it if they, could, if they already haven't. Although, to be fair, uh, I think Sonic uh, the Fighters is backwards compatible on the Xbox One slash Series X anyway, so... Sure. And I think that's still online, so... Way. I've already talked about the Amazon Luna version, so I don't think that's uh, that's much to talk about. Although, on my notes, for some reason, uh, I've ended up putting in brackets Y next to Forces. <laughs> Because why? Like, oh man, that that game, just that game, just that game. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say about that. I'm not. I'm, I don't want to talk about forces right now. Rangers better make up for it. Is all I'm gonna say. Yeah, no, I I will not be convinced that this game is gonna be good until I actually see footage, and uh, like I. Yeah, I need to be won over is the point. Uh, 
Well, I'll I'll talk more about uh, my speculation on why they didn't show footage uh, during the Sonic Central presentation in a bit. But for now, mm. I think the mobile stuff. So for Pir pirate Sonic and Shadow costumes, I really like the outfits. Same. Those are those are good costumes. Um, as for like the mobile stuff in general, like, I I don't really play mobile games, so it doesn't really. None of this really speaks to me. Like, <laughs> it kind of just went over my head, if I'll be honest. But I mean, <laughs> nice for people who like that stuff, I guess. Yeah. By then, the the, the colors uh, Ultimate and the Sonic Origin stuff. Um... It already get passed up, nearly zoned out. Yeah, I have like the the, the, the yeah the free the free main things I took away. Actually, I guess Sonic Prime as well, but like that that was just a guy talking about it. Like we didn't see anything. Um, so I'd say like three and a half. Like the like colors, uh, the Sonic Origins thing and the that teaser were the main things that I took away from. Yeah. The, the show. Like those were the main meat of the presentation. Yeah. Um. I'll ask, okay. I'll admit it's just uh, just just shedding some light on Sonic Prime real quick. It was basically stuff we already knew, like uh, like the stuff that that guy said. I forgot his name. Uh, he that this was stuff that you could have said a bit, said about a background check. It just done a background check on the company and then. Um, yeah. And then you basically a lot of like stuff like working on Ben Ten and apparently Big Hero Six. Yeah, that like that's all stuff that if you looked at like like details beforehand, then you already would have known. Um, and uh, yeah, there, there really wasn't anything new said about it. Like all the stuff he said, we already knew. Um, it just it definitely exists. That's for sure. I do like the uh, much, yeah. I do like the Eggman logo for, uh, b uh, that he had behind him though. Like that, yeah, that was pretty neat. Like I don't know if that's just that's a re just uh, just going to be exclusive to Sonic Prime or if we're going to see that in Sonic Rangers. Um, that is a good question. I do that does maybe make me wonder uh, if like the Sonic Prime stuff is going to be like just its own thing entirely. Or the new game is going to try and like tie in with it in a sense. Um, I'd like to see how they go about that. So would I. And they did say it was going to be it's like a dream project today. It's like they're all like very passionate about the uh, Sonic IP. Although uh, they didn't, I don't know, although Big Red Button said the same about that. And then look where that got us. Mm, well, I. I um I think in that case I feel like it would be better if it was its own thing because a big problem Boom had was that um that it was a lack of um communication between all sides like I know Big Red Button had to like make the game like three times over or something because for my like I could be mistaken for some of this but um from what I understand it was originally going to be its own thing um and then like when they were told to make a sonic game they weren't specified w never specified which consoles to w make it for so they just assumed that it was going to be for like ps4 xbox one and then sega were just like oh by the way make it for the wii u because we have a nintendo deal um but the stuff they were <laughs> using didn't weren't wasn't compatible with the Wii U, so they had to finagle a lot of stuff to make it work right. And then Seg, and then at, at some other point, Sega were like, "Oh, by the way, make it make the um, plot and the lore and stuff in line with like the TV show and stuff." So they had to scrap a bunch of stuff that they had planned and made the overall story a lot more simplistic mm. and just all this other stuff that made the game make made the game like. Just dead on arrival at that point. I think by then the I think by the release the uh, the whole uh, the reset the the reputation of the rise of lyric was it was already like shot completely shot. Mm. Yeah, it's funny because like if you look at the teaser trailer or whatever the uh, 
the the game footage there looks way better than the actual final game, which is hilarious. It does. Like the uh, like the first trailer that had bloody uh, uh, that had uh, that had uh, that Skrillex song in it was yeah. It looks so good, and then we and then we got that. Yeah, it looked it looked like they were slowly going back into. I I mean, maybe not adventure, but like it felt that they were trying to um, be do something that's more, that was more exploration focused, and it just fell flat. You know what that reminds me of? The trailer's looking like better than the final game. What's that? Sonic 06. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, that's kind of... They, there, is, there are some similarities with that, because um, the whole Sonic, like, Rise of Lurk had to um, be... had, like, a lot of development issues, and, um, like, the Wii U being a thing screwing them over. Um, the, um... O six. What? Why know of O six? Like the demo they re- released with uh, Kingdom Valley and all that um, was a more technically impressive build than the final one. But they went to an earlier build of the game for the for the release because it was more stable or something. Which is like, wow. Yeah, that game development is weird, and this is why I haven't gone. Yeah, into like I'm. For some reason, I'm dis- uh, I've decided to look at videos on game bear making. I'm just like, and I just look at stuff like that. And I'm thinking it just puts me straight off again. Yeah, like game development, like it, from what I understand, it, it's a living hell. Like from like, it seems like it's a miracle that anything even releases. Maybe this is a lot of people just have the their uh, tolerances better. You got to, if you want to get something yeah. done, you just got to buckle down and do it. Yeah, pretty much. Like I, I, I don't know if I have the patience, honestly. It seems like more hell if you're a solo dev. Yeah. But um, but also, but what it's like I said, it's like I said before, what they should have done before, like for for the three console deal thing, is. Take Boom out of the deal entirely, and do a do a Wii U version of Generations, with the uh, uh, with the Casino Night DLC already built in, so that uh, just uh, for more incentive to get that, and then push uh, and then push Lost World back another year to give it more uh, to give it more re- uh, of refinement. I'd be yeah, that that could have worked. Then you've still got your Mario and Sonic game. Then you, and then you've still uh, and then uh, and then you've got a port on the uh, port on the Wii U, and then Lost World, because the thing about Lost World is that that ended up getting a Steam release for some for some random fucking reason. Yeah, that is hilarious. Like the <laughs> so it's going to be Nintendo exclusive just released on Steam. It's like okay. Then they could have done. Uh, then they could have done Boom on a different console, on on a more technically impressive console. They could have put it on the PS4 and Xbox One. They wouldn't have to put it uh, to scale it back. They would have things would might have been a little bit more better, a little bit better. Made it a 2015 release. Mm. Yeah, and given people time to get used to the Sonic Boom designs with the cartoon show. Or something like that. Yeah, I can see that. Anyway, I, we digress. Yeah, that was a big digression. <laughs> it was. But, hey, that d- discussion's for you. Yeah. Anyway, uh, going through merch. The one thing... Um, go on. No, was, no, 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 you go on. Go on. Uh... There's a Death Egg robot set from Jack's Pacific that looks okay. Yeah, I like I like the look of that one. Mm. The King Guy's character chain set that uh, they uh, that that's a thing that they um, uh, they described as something that uh, people that, that were fans of the hip hop culture. To be fair, I'm not too much too like too big a fan of the hip hop culture. I like the uh, I like the music, but like I'm not too, like uh, I'm not like very big or in to the hip hop culture kind of thing but I'll say within this much 
they did some they did a damn good job on that it looks genuinely impressive yeah i, I yeah the quality of it does look pretty good and then they ended up i'm mainly <laughs> i'm mainly interested in the uh in cyclospedia though yeah, I was just going to say that next. It's Black Lospedia, uh, like, that's been a long time coming with the Inflin. And the fact we're getting that uh, before... Hang on, are we getting it the same month as Colors Ultimate? I think. I Last I checked, it was coming out in September. We might have to, like, double-check that. Yeah, that fact check. That's what I'm going to do. Um, okay, so... Set my other screen on, because I need two screens for this. Um... And those Appmex coins, whatever they are. Yeah. Ow. And uh, I, I know that. Yeah, a lot of. I know they're definitely they're definitely not going to be legal tender, but like, I reckon they're just there for like accessorizing and collect collectibles and shit like that. Which is fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> As far as merch goes, I will say that Sega's uh, commissioned some really good, uh, really good works. Yeah, there's there's good merch going on here. Sega are always good with merch, so that's why I've, that's why my Mega Drive wallet is still in use today. Yeah. So on to one of the big meteor po uh, portions, media takeaways of the uh, of the presentation: Colors Ultimate. Yeah, um, we all saw this coming. Uh, it was leaked <laughs> a while ago, and uh, yeah. Let me double. Let me double check the site it was leaked on. It's definitely a French retailer site. Um, but what is so general thoughts, Harry? Um, I'm excited that the game's going to be re um re released. Um, it's nice that the it's not just a um a, like an upscale port. Like I, I like that it's uh, more uh, of a HD makeover. I do know that there's a lot of criticism right now about the uh, uh, the lighting and the bloom effects. Like people like people saying like areas of the game look a bit too dark and others look a bit too bright, um, which I can kind of understand and like. I, I, I can hope that there, there'd be like, um, more refinement before release and whatnot. Um, and uh, if that bloom thing is like a part of the actual game and it's not just like a weird trailer thing, I do hope that there's a way to like turn it down or like maybe even remove it entirely. Because I, I can understand that being like. A stickler for some people if the bloom's like too much um but i i think i, I like colors it's one of my favorite sonic games personally so Same. i'm cool with uh having a modern like an actual like pl being able to play on a hd console i don't know what i'm gonna play it on like it's either the ps4 or the switch but um i guess it depends on if there's like a significant difference in performance but yeah, um, I'm excited to play it again at least. I, I'd like to see if there's any significant changes to it, but um, yeah. Well, I don't know uh, what I did know on some of the shots that uh, that I think the bloom effect also might, uh, along with the bloom effect, that I might have also given it a bit of a cell shaded uh, look to it as well. Yeah, I can kind of see a cell shaded look a little bit. A game like Colors, I think it's uh, I think it's a good uh, good call. Because mm. it'd definitely make it look a lot prettier than it would uh, than uh, than the Wii era graphics would, to be honest. But that's not. Yeah. But that's yeah. not. To, that's not to shit on uh, the 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 core game's graphics because uh, for it for it being a Wii game, it was damn impressive. But like the yeah, uh, it's one of the best looking games in the way. It really is. But then, uh, but it's just, uh, but it'd show its age if it came up on like the Series X, especially the Series X. What like, um, if they if they just really if they just ported the game, released it as is, then uh, then going from like, uh, f uh, fast 
fast, uh, what is it, fast, fast switching or something like that, I don't know, going from something like Halo and then going on to Sonic Colors would be a bit... Uh, yeah, that would be a massive difference. That would be the, the big, one of the biggest uh, contrasts ever, to be honest. Yeah. And then on, on one of the, uh, they said something about exclusive music. On... Right, I, I've heard about that a few times. That I, I don't really know what that is. I don't either. But it makes me it makes it sound like we might be getting a re remastered uh, remastered uh, soundtrack like they like uh, Monolith Soft did with Xenoblade. Hmm. I wouldn't mind that. Uh, I do hope if they do that, I do hope there's a um, a way to change to the original soundtrack. If that's the, if that's the case. I hope but so. I, I mean, I wouldn't mind hearing like a new take on the on the music. And then there's. The... I guess it also depends on who they um, choose to remix the soundtrack as well. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't mind if they just brought back the original composers and uh, and got them to re-record it. Yeah, that that I think that would be ideal, honestly. Either that or, mm. I don't know whether Jun Sonoi would uh, uh, just getting Jun Sonoi to get the, to do to redo the whole thing would be a good idea. Mm, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Although, to be fair, Jensen Oe on the Asteroid Coaster would sound brilliant. Yeah. I mean, Asteroid Coaster's theme doesn't sound like... I mean, it's something that's a little bit off-topic, I guess, but like, um, Asteroid Coaster's theme specifically doesn't sound our place um, to like uh, like an SA2 track, for instance. It sounds like something that yeah, you would have heard on like late SA2. Uh, on one of the uh, Space Colony Arc uh, levels. Yeah, it sounds like something you'd hear on a Sonic stage sp specifically. Most like, I think it, it, if you put it over like Crazy Gadget or something like that, I don't think uh, it'd sound too out of place. Yeah. With the, with something Eggman taunting like uh, Sonic to, uh, about uh, about Amy. Yeah. <laughs> but, um... Okay, Sonic Movie Boost. What's that gonna look like in colors? I wonder. I don't know. I assume it, it's the like, it's talking about the um the weird electric effect that Movie Sonic has. Probably. Um, but I, I mean, it's funny you you bring that up as well though because if you look through the trailers, uh, Sonic has some weird um attributes. I guess like so there's uh, some scenes where he has like a gold glove. And like different types of footwear and all this other stuff. Um, so there's some, there seems to be some kind of customization going on. And I'm wondering how far that's gonna go. Cause oh. I, that's like completely new. F I mean, I guess the closest we've had to something like that is the OC from Forces. Oh, <laughs> um, God. So um, I guess that like customization is gonna be a trend in Sonic games now, which I guess if there's one thing that they should have taken away from forces i'm glad it's that because i mean being able to customize your character i think is i think that's a good thing to have in more or less any game if you if you can muster the time to add that that's one of the things i'm looking forward to messing around with when i get to crash 4 is the the amount yeah, of yeah. costumes that you can get to uh, to customize them yeah yeah no you mentioned that game now it I think it's kind of becoming a trend in games, like in general, like costumes and accessory customization. I mean, in, which, in, uh, yeah, go on. No, I, I just think I, I just think that's that's pretty neat. Like being able to like change the character, so it's, you're not just looking at the standard model the whole game. I mean, for God's sake, in Mario Odyssey, you can make Mario look like Mario sixty four Mario. Yeah, like like even even Nintendo are. Like going on with, on with that um, kind of stuff. Although now you mention gold glove, it makes me wonder if that's meant to be like uh, the um, the gauntlet that uh, that Sonic wears in Black Knight. 
Yeah, I, I, um, a lot of people have been speculating like that it might be Black Knight inspired or something. Like it would be cool if like the there's just a bunch of costumes or what have you based on o- other games. Like, can you imagine if you could play as O Six Sonic of all things? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> That would look so out of place in colours. It would like this, like that's two. That's two completely different tones of games right there. Yeah, it'd be funny as hell though. So that's why I want it <laughs> just to see it, to see how ridiculous that would look. That's probably what's uh, what the whole uh, what that cell shaded Sonic looks like. That's probably a a, a customization kind of thing. Mm, yeah. Again, I wonder how deep this is going to go. Like, is it going to just be a simple thing? With like a few things here and there, or are they just are they gonna go and like full full on with it? Because like we like we don't really know how big of a project they they want Colors Ultimate to be. Like, is it is it just HD makeover with all the same levels intact? Like, are they gonna change things? Are they gonna add levels? Mm. Like, we don't know how much is gonna be different. I definitely recognize a lot uh, a lot of the. Um... The the uh, the ca- the camera angles from the core game, play it that many times yeah. that I definitely know all about that. Yeah, like I go looking at the footage, like a lot of it seemed faithful to the original, so it doesn't seem like there's going to be, like from from what we've seen, it doesn't look like there's going to be changes or like a big one so far. But um, I guess we'll see if that changes in the future, because there's still, I mean this. It's not too far off, but there's still a good few months where we could see some other stuff. Yeah, I feel like I feel like there's a good few months of at least a little bit of polish and maybe adding a tiny little bit in in there because it's like what yeah. May now. That's four months until September. Actually, no, no, no. Scratch that. It'll be three months because it's coming up to June. Mm. So yeah, that's, right. That's basically like three months in a week. No, three months and two weeks. I need to look at the calendar. Yeah. Um... Also, something. Also, something I noticed looking back because I, I watched through a lot of the uh, presentation to uh, to make all these notes in the first place. But, um, mm. but the home in it. I saw some. I saw a home in. I think they're also looking at customizing the look of the home in attack because the home in attack trail gave yeah. us a rainbow trail. Yeah, I'm, I'm, there's also, the, I don't know if it's the same part you're talking about, but um, the one part where he uh, home and attacked the things in Asteroid Coaster, the aura or whatever that Sonic gave off looked more like a shadow home and attack to me. Um, so, yeah, that makes you wonder how, if there's going to be um, just simple things like that. You just change the 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 jump trail or, or whatever. Like, if that's the case, like... <laughs> it's kind of amazing, like the going into like the minute details that you you can change. Even cosmetic stuff can go uh, can go so far. Yeah, I agree. So I feel like this. I feel like Call of Ultimate is a testing ground for how much that uh, for if it gets well received, it might put it might give Rangers a hell of a lot of customization options for it. Yeah. You know what? You know what would be neat, neat, pretty neat though. What's that? Uh, Sonic Adventure One Sonic. That would be cool. I I'd be down with that. Like, um, no, I'm not talking about the X Sonic. I'm talking about the uh, the one from the uh, the OG Dreamcast. The plush, the plushy Sonic. <laughs> yeah, plushy Sonic. I do. I um. One thing that I have um seen, like some people I talk, I've talked to say that the Dreamcast Sonic is kind of like the in-between between like classic and modern Sonic uh, which uh, which I can kind of see um, I think that's a good way to put it mm. um, like Dreamcast SA1 Sonic is a lot more like short and like pudgy looking I guess um, and then you go to like SA2 and onwards where it is clear like it's clear more defined and like the went more into the, the modern Sonic kind of des- design. Yeah, like, SA2, well, that's another thing, I'd like SA2 Sonic in there as well, because that's, it, the, the, yeah. the, the, uh, the 
soap shoes included if they can at least get some rights to them. Yeah, I'd see. Like, I'd say like if you if you can get anything, um, make it the soap shoes at least. That would be nice. I'd like to ever actually try soap shoes, like real life soap shoes. That'd be cool. Oh, if we're going to talk about customization, uh, some other things I'd like to see are stuff like Chip's bracelet come back. Yes. That'd be really cool. Yes, Chip's bracelet. Like, because that thing has just been missing in action. Like, where did that go? Chip's bracelet and Ryder's goggles. Yes, yes, that would be really cool too. Or if like, you can, uh, or if you can, like, uh, like. Like stack them uh, to uh, to to essentially where it becomes like that one uh, that costume mod for generations where it's got like the uh, the Black Knight gauntlet, the chip bracelet, and uh, the rider's goggles. Mm, I th- yeah, yeah. I can't remember if they put the soap shoes on them for that as well. Man, I hope this happens. Like, I really hope that they. I mean. They don't necessarily have to have ev- all of this stuff, but I hope that a good, like, a decent amount is l- there at least. And, I mean, this game is coming out on Steam as well, right? Actually, let me double-check that. I'm not sure. Um, but I, I am... If that's the case, I am I am looking forward to whatever mods people come out with. Yeah, it's coming out for Windows PC. Okay. So it's been it's been a while since uh, I've played a, a Sonic game that has like a bunch of mods um, dedicated to it. So I'm hoping people can like, uh, come up with some good stuff. I can imagine so, because have you seen the amount of stuff that people can do with generations now? The f- the fact that it can get the same like lighting effects from forces into generations. Oh yeah, and I feel I feel like all those mods is, are going to be like a nice change of pace because. You know, while this is in the same gameplay style, you do have a lot of differences, like you have the wisps and whatnot. So I feel like it's going to be a nice change of pace from Jen's mods. I'm just looking at um, uh, this image right here. I'll, I'll put it. I'll edit it in on the uh, final video. But uh, mm-hmm. but look at that! Like that. That is actual. Uh, like that is actually brilliant. Yeah, oh. I still like Carnival is gonna is gonna be amazing. Oh, okay. pause, pause. My apologies for that. Right. Okay. Hi. That can be edited out but, if anything got in there. Yeah, I didn't hear any. Well, I, I don't know how if your mic picked anything up, but I didn't hear anything. No. Oh. Uh, but um, yeah. So okay. But yeah, that that image is absolutely beautiful. Mm, yeah, I'm looking forward to a start Starlight Carnival specifically because that that um, back on the Wii that I, I'd imagine that's probably like making the Wii cry. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I can just imagine uh, what, the things they had to do to make Starlight Carnival run on the Wii. Yeah, right. Because I don't know, like I I don't know how much uh, like trouble they had getting Mario Galaxy to run on it, but. Bloody hell, Starlight Carnival was beautiful. And when they brought it over to uh, uh, Sonic and All-Stars Race and Transformed, it looked even more beautiful. I think the difference, I think the difference with Galaxy uh, is that um, I feel like, the, um, like those games, they don't need to focus on too much at once. Whereas like something like Colors, especially like Starlight Carnival, where you have like all that stuff in the background with all these neon lights and crazy stuff going on at once. Like, the... <laughs> like, it's insane. It really is. Like, when you know when I first played Sonic Colors, I was like, I was like, this is one of the be- this is probably the best looking Sonic game I've played. Oh, yeah. Oh. Like, the fact, the fact that, like, um... What should we call it? It's, the, it's not necessarily, like, unleashed levels, but, like, the fact that they managed to, like, get to even a fraction of that quality on the Wii is, like, insane. I feel like it... I feel like it was a game that that, that was meant for, like, the hit more HD consoles. Mm. Yeah, it definitely feels like it. But it also gets weird when you consider the fact that Colors actually started out as a port of Generations. Yeah. 
and then you get and then uh, then in generations you've got planet wisp you know um that makes me wonder then like what if um uh there wasn't original well they didn't have like a ninth level in generations and then like they they make colors um so they had to r- not necessarily rush but like, they had to quickly get a final level into the game and that's why planet wisp is the worst stage <laughs> yeah that's that would be funny as hell i kind of i kind of uh, suspect that because it's like um because it has that it has the signature level style of gener- of colors out if i want to call it that but um i don't want to sound mean because uh, because I absolutely love this game, but for fuck, but some of the levels in it are kind are kind of weird, to put it put it to put it lightly. I think, I think the uh, thing with generations is that it's it, it's also trying to mix all six acts in one, um, and uh, I don't, I don't know, like it, it doesn't feel as polished as like the other stages in the game, like it feel. Some of the level design, like near the start, I guess, and whatnot, is pretty good. But then after a point, it just kind of becomes dull. Mm-hmm. And I don't. That's not. I don't feel that's the case in the other stages. It's, it's strange because it's like, uh, I don't think they really wanted to uh, re- read uh, redo many uh, set pieces from the original Crisis City. No. And. Uh, uh, and with unleashed, uh, there was a lot of there was a lot of set pieces that just transitioned smoothly because it's like the same kind of gameplay style. Mm, yeah, but then uh, but then you got colors that had multiple acts, six of them, and uh, it only came, the game only came out last year. Yeah, I I feel like that there, there had to be some rush rushing going on there. Although I dep- it depends on whether they started Planet Wisp before or after Colors came out, mm. because uh, because this was uh, because it, it's no secret that at the same time Colors was being made, Generations was being made. So I can imagine that the the t- the portion of Sonic Team working on Generations was uh, was taking ideas from uh, from Colors development. So who knows? Probably, yeah. Uh... But uh, I feel like they could have done something different uh, instead of a colors stage because, like, uh, it's like we said, colors was literally like a year out from generations, and putting a colors level in might have been a little bit too soon. I do wonder how much stuff was uh, cut, like put on the cut- cutting room floor because, um, like, apparently there was supposed to be a third Sonic as well. That would have like adventure style stages, um, but I do wonder how much like they were, they wanted to have, but they just had to remove it because they just didn't have enough time. Um, I do know that. Well, I don't know if this is true, but I have heard also that the 3DS version was supposed to have more handheld stages, and all we got um, for that was just Water Palace, and I guess. DS version of Colors with Tropical Resort, but yeah, other than that, we just had like console stuff in that in that game. It's sad. I'd love to see the stuff. Uh, I'd I'd love to see uh, some rush stuff in there, some more rush stuff in there. Maybe like Rush Adventure or uh, I don't know, Advance. Yeah, I'd like to see Advance. Um, maybe even the um, Master System versions of Sonic One and Two. Like trouble, trouble stuff like that. That would have been really cool to see. Like the uh, like yes, like Sunset Park, the the train the train section as well. And mm. oh yeah, that would have been great. Because the music for that is godlike. Yeah, it's been a while since I played any of the uh, Game Gear Master System stuff, but mm. um, it would have been nice to see. I know. Okay. Uh, it makes me sort of wonder if. Colors had some stuff from the cutting room floor that the, the development team of Col- team of Colors Ultimate might put back in. Yeah, yeah. I, I, 
I really, I really wonder if there's going to be new content in this. I can imagine so. They're, hype, they're I, hyping I it up like, pretty yeah. well. It would be nice. Like, I don't. Like, the, the one thing I do do know is that um, I think it's a, like a press release or something. Like Sega it put out, like, um, you can race Metal Sonic, and this is how you get your accessories and stuff. Um, so I guess there's that. That would be something to look forward to, see how that plays out. Yeah, I'm looking at this now on the hex, the xboxhub.com and it's apparently going to say uh, um it, it's apparently saying at uh, rival rush mode, put your skills to the test mm. and go head to head with Metal Sonic. Outrun Metal Sonic to what rewards? What rewards? Could that be the uh, uh could that be in uh, customization options? I think it, I I assume that would that would be the case. I I hope there's um, a good amount of like race tracks or something because I, I, I would really hate f for it to end up feeling like a grind like you just have to do the same race track over and over again um, I hope there's a reason to want to keep doing it or like something I, I hope there's a good system there oh that Jade Ghost Wisp that was a, uh, that's, uh, that's going to be uh, central to Rise of the Wisps mm. that's going to be it that's apparently uh, going to be in Colors Ultimate as well, so there, there is going to be new content. Yeah, that mean that was, I, I I'd like to see how that functions into the design as well, because that that it like that could potentially be a really cool way to uh, throw like people like you and me off, where we played the game a bunch. I already. played the game to death, and I still die. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, and it's just like we have this new wisp that like makes us find like, new secrets and stuff that we never knew before like that would, that would be a really cool way to add replay value wisp yeah this is what it says uh pass through solid objects and discover alternate paths using the new jade ghost wisp so at least from the sounds mm. of it uh, we're going to get more level design yeah that that is exciting so that actually makes me excited. Uh, I've been, I'm already excited for a potential colors uh, re-release, but like the fact that we're gonna get mo uh, get get and get the game on the uh, new consoles and then some is actually pretty nice. Mm. Uh, yeah, I mean personally, I really like colors' level design. Like, th there are some levels that I like more than others. Like, I do, I do agree that the it, that it's definitely a lot more blocky than most Sonic games. Um, and some levels are no notoriously bad with it, but I feel like most of the game has pretty good level design. And this is what it says. Okay, this is apparently what it's going to say about uh, stuff like uh, like um, about about like uh, what you get in the in the uh, in each re in like the really in the releases. Uh, So you've got your standard retail physical pre-order. Mm. Um, the the exclusive Baby Sonic keychain, and then you've got Sonic Core's Ultimate Digital Standard. I don't know if that's just the the whole. Uh, I don't know if that's just the, like the standard the, the digital release version on the eShop or like the store or whatever. Uh, but you've got that's where you've got that's where you get the Sonic Movie Boost and the exclusive player icons. Okay. And it says harness all the power of Sonic from the hit Paramount Pictures movie and gain an exclusive electric boost and aura. So I don't know if that ex okay. I don't know if that makes a change to the gameplay or, uh, as well as uh, just like the cos cosmetics. But it's uh, I wonder if they'll be using that kind of boost in Rangers. That's what I want to know. Um. I feel like them. I think it's possible, uh, because like the there was that one, uh, for, like that one other Sonic advertisement, um, that had like modern Sonic having like these electric sparkles around him, which looked very movie Sonic esque. So I can, I can kind of see them just like borrowing that from movie Sonic at this point and just making it. A, a thing for the main series. I mean, I wouldn't be too fussed about it to be honest. It looks pretty sick, so yeah, I I, I wouldn't be too fussed either way. <laughs> well, okay, that uh, and then 
se uh, segueing off to Rise of the Wisps, uh, like we were just talking about uh, earlier about the Jade Ghost Wisp, but uh, mm. but that came with a Re uh, Roger Craig Smith pre uh, like pre message kind of thing, where so which also which also makes me uh, if, uh, it's like I said earlier, Roger Craig Smith coming uh, coming uh, hearing Roger Craig Smith again was a strange comfort. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit. I, it, I just it, it is pretty pretty funny how like it went like four months or something where it's like Roger's leaving and it's like no he's coming back like that was such a <laughs> weird time. That was that was an odd time of scrambling to who. It's just uh, scrambling to find out who might be uh, the next Sonic. Mm, yeah. I know that I know that Ryan Drummond's agent contacted Sega. Yeah, and uh, I I don't know about what do you call it. Uh, I don't know what happened with Max Metalman because he uh, actually uh, he followed uh, the Sonic Twitter account, but I don't know if that was pre Roger Craig Smith le uh, suppose quote unquote leaving or whatever. Mm. Or whether he's just a fan of the series. Yeah. That is a good question. Um, I, I'm not, I'm not sure how to feel about Roger staying. Like, um, like, I guess we'll see how his performance goes in the in the next main game. But yeah. um, I, I was honestly kind of excited to see a new take on Sonic from someone else. But I guess we're just sticking with the. With Roger for now. Well, I mean, fine, but it sounds yeah. like I feel. I feel it's like I said. I feel like we've uh, yet to see a lot of the. Uh, um, I feel like we've yet to see another shade of Roger's uh, Sonic. Yeah, because uh, my, uh, we've t talked about this a lot, but um, I my biggest problem with uh, his uh, Sonic performance is the fact that like. It's pretty pretty much just the cocky arrogant side, and that's basically it. Um, and the writing, the writing especially, just hasn't really given him, given him like the chance to do much else with the character. It's and it's uh, it's strange because Roger's a good voice actor in general. He's done a lot of uh, he. I mean, for God's sake, he's played Batman. He's played. Um. What else has he played? He's he's played uh, he's played Wonder Blue. He's played uh, Etsy Auditor or some uh, whatever, however you pronounce it. But it's uh, he is a good actor. He is a good actor. So I think he's good. I think if they put him into a serious role, I think he can uh, pull it off. Mm. And this is what I say about uh, and this is what I say to people who write off. Uh, Ben Schwartz is Sonic because uh, because he apparently t sounds too young. Uh, is is Sonic sounds too young? You have to remember that uh, Ben Schwartz himself is a uh, is in his I think he's in his thirties. Yeah, he he's a really like he's a fairly young actor to be honest. So you know, let me double check. Ben Schwartz. And I th I think his uh, take on Sonic works for. Uh, the movie as well, considering the context and all that. Mm. Uh, ben Schwartz is 39. Oh, okay, so that's a fair bit older than I expected, but still. Yeah, and his... Um, his, 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 his... Is it is the age where he can make any of his... Uh, any of his roles sound older than... Uh, like, just, he can just adjust his voice... To uh, to make them sound older than they were before. Mm. Oh, I didn't know he did Dewey Duck. Okay. Um, yeah, he did uh, Dewey in the Ducktales. Right there. Oh, and Leonardo in Resident uh, Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Anyway. Yep. Um. <laughs> he he voices a lot of blue characters. He does, um, like... and it, I kind of <laughs> like Roger. <laughs> wow. Well. Is it something about <laughs> Sonic voice actors or something, something like that? <laughs> but yeah, um, but it's like the voice actors for a reason. They uh, 
like it's not like they're going to take that uh, a particular character uh, and then just voice them exactly the same for uh, like if they if they need to they will adjust their voice voice actors are good at this they're good at what they do i think it's also like one other thing to keep in mind as well is that uh, the voice directors are like just as much at fault for things that go wrong if not more so the uh than the voice actors are because like the, those are the ones like calling the shots and telling them this is how you should sound and if it sound like if it turns out bad um a good <laughs> it's a it's a fair chance that the it was um the voice directors not doing a good job actually directing them i, f- yeah. I, I also feel like vo- uh, voice directors are uh, are are bound by script it themselves mm. because you you look at a certain line and you just think okay this is how this uh, this such and such line should sound yeah it, it's like i don't think yeah i think it it's a it's definitely a um group process um like you have the writers and then you have the directors um uh, like thinking of like how should this sound, um, all the and all this other stuff, and you have the actual actors doing the performances. Um, so I, I, I don't. F- it's definitely a group effort. I don't think it's like. I, I don't think it's necessarily like one's one single person is to blame for everything, but it's you do need to have like the right like group of people exactly. Like the uh, like, and let's and let's be fair. Roger Craig Smith, ironically, had some fantastic, uh, uh, had some fantastic performances in the Boost, uh, in the Boost uh, sub series. Wouldn't you believe it? Mm. Like, I don't, uh, like, like, like Boom Sonic's Boom Sonic's deliveries were were on point. Even some of the uh, like. There was some actual impress, uh, impressively uh, emotional parts, and in in that show, and and I think he just came through. So I think yeah, he's I... Uh, he's got he's got the he's got the chops for it. We just they just need to see him in the actual games. Yeah, definitely. I think I do think the the uh, the uh, so, the uh, kind of sarcastic nature uh, worked really well with Sonic Boom. Uh, Sonic, like I can tell, like you can tell that they had a lot of fun with the those versions of the, of the characters. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah, I think the um, this the current this current style of writing worked, like more. I think it worked better for something like Sonic Boom. Um, definitely. But um, in terms of like the main series, I, I guess we'll see how how things go. Like I, um, we know that the current writers, or not the current writers, the uh, uh, Ken Pontak and Graf or whatever. Yeah. Like those guys are gone. Um. So. And want nothing to we, do with Sonic anymore, apparently. Yeah, and uh, it's um, gonna be interesting to see where Sonic, um. I keep forgetting the name of it. Like, it's, 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 I I don't know why. I keep wanting to say either Sonic Shuffle or Sonic Raiders. Wait, is it, it's not either of those. <laughs> it's uh, Sonic Rangers. Rain. I keep forget. I keep forgetting the the like the name of it. But uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see where the story goes for that game because um, apparently they brought back old. Writers or something. Yeah, that was according to Zippo. Mm. I guess we'll see how how much that holds true. I could be wrong. If anybody, if anybody watching this uh, knows if it was another leaker that said this, please correct me. Correct us in the comments or whatever, because because uh, if because that actually makes a massive difference because Zippo is apparently the most most credible leaker at the moment. Yeah, um, he leaked. Uh... Like the collection, like all this other stuff. Yeah, um, the, the, go on. I, I think that what is it? 
I think really the only main thing that hasn't been proven yet is uh, that Dimp's 2D boost game or whatever. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I feel like we're going to get another Sonic Central in E3. I was thinking, I was thinking about that. Um, I, I don't know if we'll, if they'd want to do one so soon after this one. Um, like they, but the fact that Sega are supposed to be E three makes me wonder a little bit. Like, are they just gonna show off Colors Awesome and then just that's it, or are we gonna, are they gonna show off the actual new game? Like. I I I don't expect them to because like I don't think they've ever shown a teaser for a Sonic game and then shown off gameplay like a few weeks after. They did. But I did they? Generations. They show uh, I, I think I I remember the date specifically. I think April 7th was the teaser trailer uh, where they showed classic Sonic and then April 18th I believe it was. They showed off the. Uh, they showed off uh, um, uh, the gameplay of Green Hill straight. Like uh, okay. that was the that was the official Generations naming announcement trailer. Okay, I suppose I suppose that gives it some more possibility. Um, what was the gap between Forces like reveal and gameplay? Okay, so Forces. Uh, when it was first uh, revealed as Project uh, Sonic Project Twenty Project Sonic, what is it Project Sonic Twenty Seventeen? There we go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, this was so soon after. This was like the same uh, party as Mania's announcement. So that will have been like the. Uh, I think it was the twenty sixth of July. And then it was South by mm. Southwest twenty seventeen when they showed off the uh, Sunset Heights gameplay. Hmm. Right, so that was a quite a bit more of a uh, of a wait period, right? Yeah. So it's like, uh, I I guess it depends because like the the I mean I think the main reason why I'm not sure it's going to be shown off at E3 is that it's it's supposed to be next year, and uh, generations got revealed. Correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't it get revealed and released the same year? Yes. Okay, so that that that's kind of what makes that's kind of what is is making me wonder if they'll actually show more of it, like in a couple of weeks. Because it, it I guess it also depends how late into next year it will be. Like, would it be second half, like early like March or something, or would it be the uh, holiday, like? We don't know how far into the year it's going to be. So they could ter- totally show it off. But I feel... My gut wants to say that it'll, they'll sh- show it off around... Maybe September, October. Maybe after Colors has come come out. And like after that game is released. Then they might start showing off more of, a, of um, the new game. But... God knows, dude. <laughs> no, it's like it's it's difficult to tell with Sega sometimes. Like I did, like yeah. I like the announcement for Sonic Central was just out of nowhere in itself. Although yeah, we it did happen. We did it did happen, but we kind of also well, it it was kind of out wearing out of nowhere, but it also kind of wasn't because we it, we also had some we had a little bit of a warning by Evo um, that uh, that we were going to be getting a. Uh, yeah, that we're going to be getting some sort of announcement soon. Yeah, it does. You you did bring up like um, that they 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 said at one point that there there's going to be like more of this, more of these like central like uh, things in the future as well this year. That's what it sounded and like. That, yeah, and that makes me wonder how much stuff that they really are try like doing that we haven't seen yet like i don't want to give my i, I don't want to get my hopes up too much but um it, it does make me wonder like how much stuff there is like 
are they still holding out on us? Um, like, like, is there still a decent amount of things that they haven't shown us yet? Like, there is one thing yeah, they think... haven't shown us. What's that? Mario and Sonic at the uh, Olympic Games. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. It seems kind of weird that, um, yeah, that they, they they just cancel it outright just because the the uh, uh, the the Olympics were moved up a year. Yeah, um, I'm I'm not. Yeah, I'm not really sure about that. Um, I think it's definitely entirely possible that they are still making one. Um, I'm not too fussed either way at this point, but uh, it does it does make you wonder? Well, as soon as uh, well, we'll probably no come three. They'll probably end. They just end up posting the trailer for Mario and Sonic at the uh, 2020 Olympic Games at E3, and then get okay. people in the comments correcting them saying 2021. All right. No, I I just I I just like especially since we have the the Sonic Central now, it does make me wonder like what Sega are gonna do at E three. Like, is it just gonna be like a small? Here's like some of the Sonic stuff, and it's just footage we saw in the the Central presentation, and then everything else is just other IPs or like is it gonna be you know maybe we'll see the dimps game or like maybe we'll see like uh I don't know Sonic Origins like surprise there's it's not just the classics like there's a couple side games in it as well like I I doubt I, I don't I don't think that's happening but it would be a nice like addition. Possibly We'll see. We'll see. But um, but just uh, just briefly going back onto Rise of the West before we move on is uh, is the fact that the art style reminds me of uh, Sonic of Team Sonic Racing Overdrive. Mm, yeah, it kind of looks like a uh, more um. Uh, what would be a good way to say it? It definitely looks like a, it has a similar like style to it. Um, I'd s- I, mm, it definitely looks different in in some ways, but I can't really put it into words. Um, I, I feel like it I feel like it kind of looks it looks a bit more expressive mm. and I feel like the cartoony aspects kind of pop more if that makes sense yeah well i don't yeah i don't know how to really put it into words but it it does look pretty good like i think that look the art style really works well with um with uh colors we'll just have to see how uh sonic's written and sonic and tails are written in this show mm. I, I i don't expect I don't expect anything too crazy because like it's just a two part mini series, but um, I hope for some something entertaining, entertaining at the very least. I can imagine so. If there's one thing that Sonic's never really uh, failed on, it's their animation, mm. which is honestly baffling to think about. Although. <laughs> A lot of people would say we would say underground, but like even I, that was enjoyable to a degree. So, oh, uh, talking about just like shows and whatnot, yeah. Like, I would, I'd uh, uh, mostly agree agree with that. Yeah. And Sonic Boom, bloody hell! You know when I first saw that uh, saw that initial trailer. There were so oh, there were so many points where I just couldn't stop laughing, and 
but that was like April time. The show was due, the show and the game were due to come out in November, and I was just thinking to myself, I have to wait this long for uh, uh, for Sonic Boom to start airing. Why? <laughs> yeah, it was honestly a weird year. But then again, yeah. but then again, we've uh, kind of been through a weird year ourselves. So. Mm. But okay, is there anything else you'd like to add on uh, Colors Ultimate and Colors Rise of the Wisps? Um, not particularly. Like I pretty much, I pretty much said everything I needed to. Like all the stuff that I said earlier still applies, and I, I'm excited to see whatever else they plan to do with the game. Well, yeah. It's obviously like I said, we both like this game, maybe even love it. So, and it just looks beautiful. Mm. But anyway, next up is okay. Second to last subject is Sonic Origins. No, I, I, I pretty much uh, like said my piece on this earlier. Like, I mean, I, I'm glad that we have a. Uh, collection of modern consoles now um it's good to have all the classics on one system um i again i ca i kind of wish it wasn't just the classics i i wish it was they had more of the uh side games as well um <laughs> if you want to go like pipe dream i would have liked some of the 3d stuff in there but i know that's that's uh not gonna happen well, uh, we we don't know yet. I never thought that um, I never thought that we'd get Sonic Three on a modern system. But hey, here we are. Yeah, I mean, I can definitely see like a, like Adventure One and Two and like Unleashed and Generations being ported eventually. Like th this is obviously if provided they don't actually remake Adventure. Um, like I can definitely see them re-releasing those games like in separate collections or something, mm. or maybe like a DLC pack for Sonic Origins, um, which I'd be okay with. But yeah, you know, I, I mean, as far as it, a collection goes, like this is fine. But like, I again, it's nice to play these games on a newer console, oh. um, especially Sonic Three, which uh, I for for me. And probably a lot of other people um, to play that game. I'd either have to emulate it um, or boot up an old like get like mega collection copy, which isn't exactly ideal. So, no, of course not, because it's like I appreciate that. Mm. Um, and the, it's a question why head ports as well. Literally, the definitive versions. Yeah, that is cool. And this was. Okay, during the initial trailer, uh, the footage of Sonic 3 was 4x3. Mm -hmm. Which would made a lot of people... I don't know, I don't want to say hesitant, but probably, like, very... Uh, just like... Scared. Scared, yes. Because it's like you yeah, said. Including us. Like, I had a feeling that there was going to be something... Like, that it was going to be amended later on. But the uh, but I but you said to I remember you you said to me that yeah this better not be another uh, uh, Mario sixty four in three uh, D All Stars deal. Yeah, I would. I really wouldn't have liked that. See that Nintendo? This is how you do it. Yeah. But uh, oh but, my god. But yeah, um, the sort of, like yeah Sonic three is going Sonic three and Knuckles is going to be widescreen as well according to, uh, um. I'm going to, uh, what, okay, at Katie, Ch uh, uh, at Katie, C-H-R-Z, Z, or Mini, or go, who goes by Mini Kitty, who is apparently the social media plus influencer manager for Son uh, for Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, I'm going to see, oh, she's part of the, uh, I think she's part of the, uh, social, yeah, she's definitely part of the social media team, uh, that, um, that Aaron Webber built up before he left. Mm. So yeah, uh, this is what she said. Been seeing quite a few of you asking about Sonic Three and Knuckles in Sonic Origins, and whether or not we will be see the see the game in widescreen. Yeah, there. 
just to clear that up, yes, Sonic 3 will also be in widescreen. So, yes. Thank you. I, all, I, no, all I can really say about that is just thank God, because like, that would have been so like weird. Like Every game on there is uh, like 16 up by 9, except Sonic 3. Like you're, you're lucky you're getting the game at all. Be happy. No, it's like it's yeah. But so what's also so yeah. It's like okay. So we've got the game. So, so is Zippo also going to be right about the uh, about um, the MJ and Brad Boxer music being lost? I wouldn't be surprised. I feel like they're going to use the PC soundtrack or whatever. Um, like if they somehow manage to um, get the licensing rights, or what, like if they manage to figure that jumbo out, and uh, actually ha we actually have the Mega Drive soundtrack in this, like that would be amazing. But I don't expect it. Probably not. But like, it's not like both sound, both like versions of the soundtrack are absolute bangers in themselves. Anyway, so it's like. Uh, yeah, it's like a Sonic CD situation. It pretty much is. It's like no matter what, you're getting the same. You get in the game, and you're getting mm -hmm. some good music to go with it. No matter like, and a lot of people like the atmospheric, uh, atmosphere of uh, the American Sonic CD soundtrack, which is fair enough. But per my personal yeah. taste, I like the I like the high energy of the uh, Japanese soundtracks. Yeah, I think the Japanese soundtrack fits more with the. Classic Sonic personally. Yeah, but it's all. Oh, but end of the day, I'm still getting the game. We're oh, all, for sure. Yeah, I'm definitely getting this. Yeah, like Sonic Three on the Switch. That's what I wanted I, for ages. Yeah, I'm like okay. So um, with, with colors, I don't. I'm I'm torn with between Switch and PS4. But for Origins, I'm definitely getting that on the Switch because that's. That's just like that's the perf like two D like the two D Sonic games um in like one collection like that's a perfect game to play on like to have on on the go. It really is just like all all the it's it's all the original games and this is the thing we talked about CD we've got CD in this collection which I actually for some uh, which. A lot of people seem to not think would happen, or at least didn't mention it. Mm. Yeah, it, it's like, we don't usually have um, CD in the same collection as like the other, like one, two, and three. Like, um, like even like Mega Collection only had one, two, three, and K, and the uh, CD was relegated to a end collection. Um, so it's really cool to see like all the games, including CD, in one package. Um, so I like that. Now, I really genuinely can't wait for this collection. Like this is one of my, this is going to be one of the highlights of the Sonic 30th anniversary celebration. Just the fact that I can have mm. all five or four, it depending on what uh, what you how you, what you consider uh, Sonic Three and Sonic Knuckles okay. to be. Because is it, it? I guess it depends on what you count. Yeah. Because if it weren't for McDonald's, a lot of people would already be thinking of Sonic Three and Sonic Knuckles as one game anyway. So it's like. They're just two halves of the same game that had to release uh, differently because the, uh, uh, because Ronald McDonald put his put his foot in the door. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah, and then you have like, it depending on how you count it, you have five all like all five or six, um, classic games on one system, including Mania. I hope we get the, uh, I hope the fact the fact that we're getting this. Also makes me think: Are we getting the uh, HD special stage from Sonic Two? Oh, mm. I would hope so. I because like the um the draw distance in the Mega Drive special stages is abysmal. So like if it if it's the more like the HD or like the uh the um mobile one um that'll be a lot better. It's like you know, you 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 like you know me. You've known me for like six fucking years now, and you know that I've defended the Sonic Two special stages to the hilt. But... I I mean I enjoy, the 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 thing is like I enjoy them in theory, but it's the it's the 
It's the um, draw distance that kills it for me because a lot of the time it gives you a split second to react. Um, and it's like, I, it's, I, li I like playing them, but the fact that like sometimes you just can't... Um, like, unless you play them religiously and like learn where all the bombs and rings are, like it, it's gonna be a lot of trial and error and just a lot of frustration. Uh huh. And um, I feel like if if there was a better draw distance where the items don't like spawn in a few seconds before you can like like uh, react to them, like you know, it would it would be way more playable. Yeah, it's. I just, I just hope that they do the the uh, that the ports include the uh, HD special stage because I was playing the decompilation recently and I tell you, it's it's so good. It massively improves the special stages by like a hundredfold. You'd no even fucking idea. It's like it's like the different. It's it's not even it, like the differences between the original CD special stages and the. HD remake special stages that don't even compare to it. It's so damn good. Yeah, and you mentioned the CD ones. Like, it's a, uh, it's quite the jump with with that as well because um, you play the original and it's so stiff and yeah. like weird. Like it feels so weird, and you go to the, I, I guess in a way it's it's a it's a remake because I think Christian White had made it from the ground up. Um, but like, it's so much smoother and uh, tighter to control in that one. It really is. But um, yeah, it's. I wonder if we'll. I wonder if they'll. Hmm. I had a thought earlier when I was list when I was just looking back at the uh, trailer for the uh, for Sonic Origins. Will we be getting? Not only both soundtracks for CD, but will they reinstate the whole, uh, reinstate the, uh, what do you call them, the, the vocal tracks instead of the, uh... mm. I think, I think we're definitely going to get both soundtracks again. Um, I'm not sure about vocals though. I would really like to have the vocal stuff back because it's so weird like do doing the Japanese intro and you just hear like instrumentals like that doesn't feel right it doesn't feel right at all and it's 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 honestly sad because it just feels empty that's what it feels it just feels so so empty yeah that's why like I t <laughs> I tend to just like have Make the intro just play Sonic Boom, and then just after that, just switch to Japanese. <laughs> yeah, that just that sounds that sounds the uh, more optimal, to be honest. Yeah, it's kind of annoying though, but uh... the fact that you have to go through that, uh, go to that, uh, go to that, uh, that length to do it. Mm. So the if we had uh, vocals for the Japanese tracks, that yeah, that would that would definitely make it make it better. Like I'm obviously like obviously like I'm not the I wouldn't say I dislike C D, but it's definitely not one of my favourites. Um I'm glad it's I I'm definitely still glad it's here though. Oh easily. Cause uh just this whole collection I love the classic games to like to absolute death. So mm -hmm. My closing thoughts on Origins as a whole is it's a day one purchase, and if there's a physical release, I'm getting that. Fair enough. Um, for for me, um, it's a it's supposed to be coming out next year. Uh, apparently, um, I'll, I'm probably gonna get it um, day one or close to release as well. Um, but for me, I'm gonna go digital because um, the this like a collection like this just for me would be better to to just be able to play um like 
any, any time, like just any any time I want. <laughs> um, but it would be, it would be nice though if there was a good physical as well, like maybe a collector's edition, maybe. Hopefully, that'd be cool. But yeah, that's basically all I had to say about the collection. Okay, yeah, but I think that's uh, both of yeah. Uh, for in my notes, Sonic three and four by three as of recently redundant. Um. Okay, and in the last last section, um, Sonic Zap brackets or Rangers close brackets. Hmm. Okay. I'll... I've um, I'd say, I think I've said a lot um before getting to this point, so I'm gonna I'm kind of curious to hear like your takeaway from all this. Right, I've had a lot of thoughts. I've had a just been. It's. I'm cautiously optimistic, is what I am. Mm-hmm. Because you, because you look at the CG for that, it looks some of the best Sonic CG I've ever seen, aside from the Sonic movie. Yeah, it did look pretty good. The, 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 the environments uh, at first when we saw that brief frame during the Unstoppable trailer, I thought that was going to be Sonic Colors. <laughs> and I thought, yeah, I thought so too. Like. If we're just gonna bring that up real quick, like, um, there was like a couple frames of animation that people were obsessing over in that one uh, tra- trailer they dropped like a couple of days ago, um, and it was something that we never saw before. And I like honestly, I thought thought it was just, um, like Colors Ultimate. Like I thought it was just gonna be a updated opening, but like as soon as. When when they actually showed colors in the presentation, um, and that clearly, that clip clearly wasn't there, um, that did make you make me wonder like, it, it's probably a new game at that point. Like I've that or like, I don't know, Sonic Prime teaser, but you know, it's well, I didn't think about Sonic Prime. <laughs> Oh, I didn't yeah, know that was... think about Sonic Prime. <laughs> that, yeah, that was one other thing that I thought it could have been, but well, we know what it is now. But like, yeah, yeah. And there's a glow around Sonic as well, which turned out to be him powering up for the boost. Mm. I'm. <laughs> uh, hmm. If this is truly like another boost game. I hope it's more in line with like Unleashed and Generations, uh, but I, uh, I don't know. I if it is the boost, I I don't know how to feel about that. It's probably just like I don't know. Um, it might be a trailer thing. It's probably a trailer thing. If it might just be like Sonic uh, r- uh, running and leaving behind a trail, like we have, we've seen in other Sonic media. Possibly, yeah. I'm still holding out hope for an adventure-style game. Um, I want something more platformy focused and not like so speedrun heavy. Um, as much as I love the boost games, I think it's. I think we are kind of in need of a gameplay shift. Like I, I, I don't know. I, I feel like we've had the boost for so long now that I. I kind of just want something different, if you will. Same. It's uh, getting to the point where I just, especially after going back and playing stuff like, uh, this is going to sound weird, but like, not 06, but Project 06. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. The level of polish Um, with that level, with uh, uh, with that gameplay style is beautiful. Yeah, and it just it makes me want something official with that kind of thing. Yeah, I. Oh god, like I, if it, if we had um, really good level design with the boost, 
I'll I'll take it. Like I I definitely I would definitely enjoy that. Um, but I <laughs> I don't know, man. Like I, it's one of those things where like I'd be satisfied. Like I didn't I'd like that, but at the same time, it's not exactly what I want. If you know what I mean. Yeah, like, like generations was peak boost level design. And mm. uh, because, like, multiple pathways and stuff like that. And that all you needed to get to the level, the pathways was a bit more skill than the average player. Oh, yeah. Especially, like, it's it's crazy because, like, um, what is it? We had a little competition with a few levels in Generations. We did, yes. <laughs> it's crazy how um, the game, how the game changes when you start trying to speed run it because like generations if you play casually it's a very easy game like there's not much you can really have an issue with but as soon as the t- like the clocks the clock becomes relevant and yeah it, like, becomes a priority and you're trying to like uh, shave off like like uh, milliseconds and all this other stuff like the game gets like insanely hard really quickly <laughs> like it's in- it's crazy how much of a difference it makes I never, I never knew how bad speedrunners actually had it until I, until we, until we started trying to one up each other with those times. I swear to God, Crisis City, like I swear to God, nearly gave me an aneurysm. Yeah, aneurysm. Crisis City broke me in a way that no other level has. Like it's one of those things where, like, if I pl- again, if I play casually, I can take my time with the jumps and stuff, and it's like, uh, it's not. Is, well, I, I'd say it's one of the more trickier levels, but it's nothing too uh, taxing. But like, once you're trying to like dash through all that hardcore platforming nonsense, it's like insane. Like, you can make the the simplest mistakes and just mess the whole thing up. Well, it's like it's nothing. It's nothing like it's not the hardest uh, gaming experience I've had in recent memory. I'd say one of the hardest uh, gaming experience I've had in recent memory is trying to do the hard mode of Freedom Planet when you believe it. Oh yeah, I don't believe it. I'll believe that. <laughs> uh, real quick, just fucking mutant serpentine. Jesus Christ, I got 50 deaths on that thing! <laughs> uh, so many game overs. But that aside, um, almost okay. Sonic, before it it cut to the uh, it cut to the uh, to the weird logo, ran in a pattern that almost looked like a six, and I nearly shat myself because all that time mm. I sp- all that time I spent memeing and saying what if the what if they're uh, preparing a Sonic O six remake. Uh-huh. And then Sonic runs in a pattern that looks like a six. You can imagine how I felt. I thought, wait, no. <laughs> it does. I don't think this is going to be the case, but I. The fact that um, it was like some kind of forest area, um, <laughs> like gave, like kind of makes me wonder. Like this, like this little glimmer of uh, I wouldn't say hope, but um, one I guess wonder if like maybe this is like SA one remake. Like oh, it, I don't think I don't think it is. I I think there's like a two percent chance it is. Can't but, hold like, on much longer. Like um, like maybe this is part of the Mystic Ruins now. Like <laughs> you know, oh, I don't know. Oh God, yes, because the uh, because the uh, the lost world, not the game, the level is basically a, is like a Mayan temple. Yeah. Oh God. Like it is. Oh. I mean, again, I I think it's like a two percent chance this is an SA one remake, but oh. if if it if it is, um, the then uh, showing off a forest area is not a coincidence. Of course not. No, that it could either be that, or we might, or if, or if we we're, we're gonna look at the forest and think what else in Sonic Media has had a uh, had a forest, 
the Great Forest from Sat AM. What if they're doing that to us? Oh, that is a good point too. Like, what other thing? Yeah, what other things has like a big forest like that? Like, hmm. um, a lot of people there's... obviously, uh, a lot of people thought Planet Wisp when we saw that, but like that obviously hmm. got. But that's uh, clearly that's clearly not the case. Oh, speaking of the Planet Wisp as well, like the um, the uh, weird effect effect that Sonic gets kind of looks like when he uses the cyan laser, but that doesn't seem to be what's going on there. I first thought that as well. Yeah, it looks like something else though, like some I, I don't know. Again, it might be a weird trailer effect, but mm. Mm. I know that. Yeah, the forest environment it gives me off a tribal feel. You know, you know, it came up with the, uh, um, you know, it came up with the Sonic Team logo. It mm. it also yeah. it also gave me it gave me uh, like the the background kind of made, gave gave me some sort of like tribal pattern. So it makes me wonder: Are we getting echidna stuff? That is a good point. I was gonna like when you you were mentioning talking, um, you're bringing that up. That makes me makes me wonder. Like, um, what if we went back to Angel Island and they had we had like, um, maybe a bunch of new areas of the island we never saw before, or like we lo- like you're um, insinuating with the echidna stuff. Like maybe we end up learning more about. Um, the Echidna the tribe and all this other stuff. <laughs> like, are we gonna like maybe we'll get new law? Insane theory, but what if? Uh, but what if there's a little bit of a reference to the uh, to the Sonic movie where uh, where Sonic was being hunted, uh, head literally head hunted by uh, like literally with Echidnas out for his blood. Mm. What uh, like and then. Uh, a secret society of echidna come back somehow. And Knuckles is forced to choose between his friendship with Sonic and or, uh, or, uh, or having to uh, having to fight against him. That would be interesting. I like. What if there's like there was like a secret echidna society like hidden somewhere, and like they were like just fight like somewhere in hiding until now, like. I that would definitely be an interesting way to take it. Like you've got uh like it it definitely uh seem a little uh, it's funny cuz uh in Sonic 3 obviously Knuckles fought uh, Knuckles and Sonic were at each other's throats uh, from the beginning and then obviously uh Knuckles was um Knuckles uh, was uh obviously shown the truth the fact that uh robotnik was uh was tricking him yeah now whether or not um the uh like the echidna tri- the uh, the overall echidna tribe which they call included was um was taken uh were was wiped out by chaos like if my theory is true, if this is going to be like, uh, if if they were wiped out af- uh, like, uh, after um, after they lost sight of Sonic, mm. yeah, that like, is, mm. like Sonic yeah. was like Knuckles was uh, was a uh, uh, Knuckles was a uh, was a young child himself, so yeah. Like, are we going to been... get echidna lore? Go- yeah, I I would definitely be up for more lore. Or something like, I I just having I don't know having a story that has more depth than what we've had recently would be a good start. I think. Like, I don't know. I don't know who they're planning to bring in for Knuckles if his voice actor left or anything like that. But no, yeah, I have no know, idea what's going on. With I it. just don't want the one that they brought in for Team Sonic Racing. No, I, I don't think that would fit. No, because it, it, like, I feel like 
maybe take a page out of Team uh, of Sonic and Tails R book uh, R and then mm. uh, and give him and and bear with me on this David Humphrey. Hmm. Because I yeah. never thought David Humphrey would do a good knuckles, and I heard David Humphrey's knuckles, I'm just like, yes. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought that either. Um, I'm definitely, uh, I, I'm definitely interested in, in what they they decide to do. Um, I, yeah, I I can't. In terms of like Team Sonic Racing, um, I I suppose like. I can't harp on it too much because it's like a simple spin-off. Um, so the the story, like the the plot of that game, doesn't doesn't really um, <laughs> hold much weight to me. Um, but yeah, I they def- if they if they want to go law hev- heavy, it like we're trying to uh, trying to say um, it definitely needs diff- a different. Direction and like something, something like Team Sonic Racing, oh, which was a lot more comedy focused, like focused, I guess. I just feel like, like in you ge- know what I mean. I get what you mean, but somehow they even managed to make a Sonic Forces plot a joke, a fucking war story. So it's like, yeah, that that's like that's something that I like. The actual main games is what I have an issue with. Like when you mess that up, then yeah, I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna have a w- words to say. Um, uh, but if it's like a spin-off like Team Sonic Racing, I'm a lot less. Like, I, I care a lot less. <laughs> yeah. Like, how the hell do you make a war story seem less compelling than a story about uh, about two friends trashing a fucking uh, amusement park? Yeah, like, Cars had a lot more heart to it than Forces did, which is hilarious to me. Honestly, Pontac and Graf, you're probably good, you're probably good, uh, good blokes, but, like, mm. with all due, with the, I mean, with, mean this with the deepest of respects, stick to making cute animals kill each other. Yeah, right? Like, they are not, they, they just can't do Sonic stuff, I'm sorry. Like, Colors was fine. That was a good change of pace, and it worked fine for that simple story. But cut like generations, lost world, forces, all this other stuff, like all of that, just all of those stories just fell flat on their faces. I'm sorry. <sighs> the Sonic doesn't suit their style, and no, it does, it what doesn't. doesn't make it what doesn't make it better is the fact that they never uh, that the it's clear that they didn't look at uh, look at the source material because. They right. uh, they also um, kind of uh, because they because they fucked up on a lot of characterization. Yeah, like ta- they made Tails a sideliner. They made uh, and mm. uh, they made Knuckles a bit of a um, uh, the bit of a bumbling idiot, and that's in and that's in bloody uh, Lost World, Sonic Lost World. He he says like two lines in that game and both mean the same thing. <gasps> yeah. Um. They, uh, he just then. Oh, I really hope, like from the sounds of it, they don't want to. Um, they don't want anything to do with it, uh, Sonic anymore. So I think that's a. Yeah, bit... they didn't. I don't. I'm surprised they even got the jobs in the first place because they. They didn't sound like they were even like Sonic fans to begin with. Like they knew nothing about the characters, and they had to look up um, cutscenes and wikis and all this other stuff uh, of other games just to understand what the characters are like. And it's just why at that point, why would you hire these guys to write your games? Meanwhile, like, meanwhile, and this is going to be a weird comparison. Mega Man Eleven, right, was hmm. made. Uh, was made from a team, a fresh lot of developers to the Mega Man series. The composer aside, because he he worked on Battle Network. Um, the team themselves were uh, were basically made to play all of the classic Mega Man games one to ten, and all of the X series games to see mm. 
uh, to get a feel of uh, how the game should be. Why don't fucking Sonic Team do that? Uh, when, yeah. Maybe yeah. they did. Maybe they did. Maybe they have now. But why haven't they? Why don't they just do that? I feel like to to come on to come onto uh, to come onto a series like Sonic, a, a pre a prerequisite should be uh, have you played a certain amount of Sonic games so that you know what uh, so that you know what we want you to do. No, fuck off then. Yeah. But. Or it could be a case of you have like this amount of uh, <laughs> weeks or months to play all, all these games so you can understand the series and then after that um show us what you what you can come up with and if, if we think it's good then sure you got the job but if if not then sorry mate you're out <laughs> like <laughs> something like that i don't know do you consider do you consider uh, do you consider uh, the sonic adventure 2 ending heart wrenching no piss off yeah, right. And that that still honestly uh, kind of chokes me up a little bit. I'll be honest. It does because in that game you can you you're under the assumption that Shadow is just dead. Yeah, and like he originally was, but that's a topic for another day. I that guess. is a, that's a definite topic for another day. But um, I've, they just need to make sure the staff members know what they're getting into. Exactly. Be like because... if it feels like Ken Pontek and Graf, like it feels like. It's it's the equivalent of like getting some random guy off the street and just being like, okay, you're writing for Sonic now. I was like, cool, I guess. Have you played a game? No. We'll look up some stuff then. It's like they feel like what they, they just did that uh, to just get a very very and I mean very loose idea of what Sonic is and what's meant to be, and gave him and they just did the job because they get paid at the end of it. Yeah, pretty much. But then, they look, but then they saw the uh, community outcry about it, and are just like, "Well, shit." Yeah. This was this was an interview with uh, uh, with uh, Ken Pontac. Then he was uh, uh, on something about Rebel Taxi, and they were talking about Sonic, and it was just like, uh, "Like, yeah, they fucking hate us." <laughs> like, I don't, but I don't bother. Uh, I don't bother interacting because I know I'll get. Uh, I know I'll get blown out the fucking water. Or something similar, something similar vibes to that, anyway. Yeah, yeah, I, I think I know what you're talking about. Which, on from his perspective, I won't blame him. Yeah, yeah, I think it's one of those cases where, like, um, he doesn't exactly what well, they don't really have um, a good. Um, <laughs> Like for for Sonic fans and like all that stuff, like we don't exactly have the best um, impression of them in terms of the content. Um, so I think it's one of those cases where it, it, yeah, they're better off um, showing off their talent elsewhere. Like what something that they're more good at, I guess. Does, does this, I'm trying uh, to. I, like, I don't want to sound like I don't want to make it sound mean. <laughs> like, yeah, like, but it's, it's clear. It's clear that this isn't. This isn't go uh, a good like gig for them, if you will. No, and I think they've they've realized it. I think Sega's realized it. And when there's uh, when you've got a radio drama, uh, what's essentially a radio drama, pointing out almost uh, the perfect. Uh, um, the perfect characterizations of the characters. I like. I mm. loved Shadow and Sonic and Tails are so much. I don't know if you would listen to it, but I need to take the time to do that. I keep meaning to, but right. Well, um, all I'll say is uh, that the writing is spot on, and it mm. feels and it feels I have like heard another as much. and it and it feels like another adventure game at this point. Hmm. I do like the 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 um have like a bunch of old actors uh sonic actors in that it must feel like really heartwarming to hear a lot of those guys again. I just want Pete Capella back as silver just saying it was twigger yeah well like well <laughs> uh, that line aside 
<laughs> no, no, I just like making, taking the mick out of that. <laughs> I don't know what happened with Quinton Flynn. Apparently he had some accusations. I don't know what about. Oh, but I just I, must have heard of this. Yeah, I didn't find out about this until... Uh, uh, until like a month ago, and I'm just thinking, oh shit, another Vic Mignogna situation. Oh god, I, that's another kang of that is a, worms. I that is don't not want to get into today. I'm not getting into this in this fucking discussion. This is about Sonic. No. But back, but I to still say Pete Capella had the uh, had the best silver. Mm. Like it's one of those orig the original is the best situations. Yeah, I mean, I. Mm. I think I think Silver I think Pika Pella just needed better direction. Like he's also in Spick um, and Tails are. Mm, yeah, yeah, I've heard that much. Um I I liked the voice in Generations in Fairy, but like he never he said like like two lines pretty much. He seemed a bit softer. Yeah, he Quinton definitely Flynn. seemed softer. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. I yeah, I do like Quinton Flynn Silver, but I think um, it, like obviously, if he's still voicing him, like I hope um, they give him more of a speaking role. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's forces, but I, I, I... that game just doesn't exist. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, wait, and uh, I think. Go back just quickly okay back to uh back to this uh it's coming out 2022 which i expected completely yeah i that the, with all the uh leaks and zippo stuff and all that saying it was 2022 like i'm not surprised again i feel like it's one of those instances where it was supposed to come out this year but covid crap and uh yeah so that, that I I'm not surprised. Um, it makes I, I don't know I I just I just need to see the actual game. Like there's so much stuff going on at, at the moment. Like like there's um like the same day. Well, all this stuff is happening the same day. Like we had the Sonic Central thing earlier today, and then. <laughs> Like I guess a few hours hours ago or whatever, um, they there's like 4chan leaks, quote unquote, of like it's apparently people focus tested this game and it's a like an open world style with um where you go into you do this cyberspace thing where you go into like generation styled levels or something, um, and like I. I <laughs> I don't know if I really believe that, to be honest. Like, like we talked about this in DMs before we started this. Yeah. Um, but I, if they again, if they can prove to me that they can make an open world Sonic work, sure, go for it. But the two things that I, uh, the uh, the big things that make me kind of have pause and and wonder if this is if this. Leap four chan thing is legit. Is um, uh, like the uh, boot boost games have like, I wouldn't say budget issues, but um, the the fact that like those games are like really hard to develop for makes me not really believe that they'd be able to do a bunch of those types of levels and a massive open world as well. Like I feel like that's like crazy um i i just don't believe that's possible personally i again if it if they can manage to make it work somehow sure but <laughs> until i see it in action i i i'm on team fake personally i don't know because i've literally just come across this it's a uh um like good something good vibes gaming uh just uploaded is uh his details on Sonic 2022's, uh, I did I say 2020? Yeah. 2022's title and gameplay leaked back in January. Oh, yeah, that's another 4chan thing that's been going around. Yeah, and it also lines up with what was uh, posted on the, uh, on the, uh, what do you call it? 
on the uh, it seems like it's a different uh post than the one that you linked me mm. yeah there's like two po there's like the january post and then there's the one that post got posted like today i think yeah they do both line up but it's but it's still something i need to need to actually see first yeah cuz it could be a case of them of like just people getting lucky and then um some guys just uh uh taking a random shot shot in the dark and getting some some random things correct <laughs> um like I, you never really know with this stuff honestly <laughs> I believe it when I see it, but I hope it's. Yeah. I hope, but if it's true, it it it's definitely something that, that I think they need to execute it well. Yeah, because the thing is, like, thing of um, a, a uh, Sonic uh, open world game is that it sounds fun, like it like really fun in theory, and there's like a lot of and projects that do a big open space. But the thing is, like, there comes a point where um it, it just running around aimlessly becomes pointless after a while like you, you can make the biggest worlds for sonic to just roam around in and just have fun mo like with your movement but what do you actually need to do like is there anything to actually accomplish like that's what makes me worry about how well open world sonic game will actually function uh, into like as an actual game you know yeah it's like you've got your you've got your you've got your objective but what you've got your like uh you've got your method but what's the goal what's the objective yeah, of the whole thing exactly. like it needs like, to be an actual objective there needs to, yeah instead of being an incohesive mess yeah and that's kind of what the the this like that that's what a lot of um the fan projects are to me like it's fun to run around in and like, like see how fast you can go through this big open space. But as soon as the um, thrill wears off, it just kind of becomes aimless, and I don't really want to have that in a main game. No, not at all. But well, <laughs> I'll link. I'll link you. The, I'll link you the video, Harry, and then you can see for yourself. I'll probably put up a. Yeah, screenshot in the uh, in post production, but yeah, yeah, here it is. I I suppose another thing as well is that um, I I'm not convinced that uh, so Sonic Team or the I, I assume that at this point they probably have like an entirely new uh, team uh, after Forces, but I am like I'm currently not convinced that they can do they can like make a open world game like that <laughs> considering like what we've had in the past but uh, it's a, it's another one of those i'll see for myself situations i can't imagine the force team stuck around long no why d god <laughs> why the hell our Lost World, like, why is the Lost World level designer the lead level designer in that game, in, in Forces? Oh, fuck, yes. Like, why, why would you, they, I, that they, game makes no sense, like. They, they, they did, yeah, Sonic Forces just does not make any sense whatsoever, as both, like, the concept was there, but the execution was just a mess. It, they, ma it makes, so, people... it makes Lost World look like a fucking masterpiece. Yeah, it kind of does. Like, I... Uh, like, they had everyone... They put pretty much everyone on... Not everyone, well, not, maybe not everyone, but... They put so many people on the wrong jobs, basically. And, like, they didn't... Have, they should have given that game another year. They should have given that game another team. I don't know about another year. Oh yeah, well either way, like whatever would have made that game good. Like ugh. and it's like ugh. like in a lot of ways I think it's I, I in terms of um just creativity, it I think it might honestly be it might honestly be the worst game in the series. Yeah, because at least 
06. 06, I'm saying 06 for fuck's sake, but at least 06 had its ambition. It had it had thought behind what it wanted to do. It mm. knew what it wanted to do. Yeah, I, I think in a lot of ways Force is is, is worse than 06 and Shadow. Mm. Cause like the thing is like uh like those those two games like frustrate me sometimes with like how annoying they can be. But um at the same time, those games also have some really good level design. Um and at least it's like making me feel anything. Whereas like when I play forces, it just it just kind of is. Like I don't feel any anything when I play that game. <laughs> Which I guess I get I guess on one hand I'm not frustrated, but at the same time I'm not exactly having fun either, so it's like pick your poison really. Pretty much. But yeah. yeah. Anyway. So final so, I think we'll come up to it. Final thoughts? Anything else um, you want want to get out of your chest about the uh, whole thing? I still I, I I expect boost from the next from the new game from go, like going off of the uh, teaser, but again could just be it could just be like a specific move or something that Sonic can do, um, and it's not um, the boost specifically. Like I'm still holding out for adventure, um, like not SA three specifically or or, or SA one mm-hmm. remake, but just adventure style. Like that's what I want right now. Yeah, I guess. I'm hoping. I, guess we'll say. I hope for that as well. But you know, as long as it, whatever we get, as long as it controls well and plays well. Yep. And I, I, I want the at the first and foremost, I, f- I want the Sonic Team to be proud with this project. Like they clearly went with the other game with uh, forces, and uh, I want them to uh, be able to. I want yeah. Be able to say like yeah, I want them to be able to say. We made a good game. We're proud of this. Sega proudly presents. Yeah, exactly. Because you know, they you know, with Mania, Sega proudly presents was something you hadn't heard in a while, and then you see that for Mania, and you think, yeah, this is gonna be good. Mm. Yeah, I won that for a 3D Sonic game. I feel like Son- I feel like Sega just need confidence in themselves rather than just going to something, um, like. Like shit, just constantly thinking shit, shit, shit. What well, are they gonna like this? We need to like make this? a Sonic game now. Yeah, they need something. They need something they they can they can present proudly, not just yeah. bring say uh, a say like Sega uh, Sonic Team presents or something like that. Definitely. But yeah. Anyway, um, that's about that's about covers everything. Yeah, I'd say so. Uh, I. I'd say this co- uh, discussion has uh, made me um, a bit more... I- I'd say it went from about a 6.5 to a- or a 7 to about... An- maybe not an 8, but maybe like a 7.5 or something like that. But it- I, th- I think this discussion made me a bit more excited than I was before. <laughs> I feel like uh, just talking about things can uh, can help with with that with that. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I agree. But yeah, um, I definitely think that we're in for something good. Exactly. I hope this is just the start. Exactly how good I don't know, but I feel like I feel like especially after forces, we can only go up. Oh yeah. I, oh god, I just. Sonic, uh, like, um, Colors Ultimate and um, Sonic Origins, I know I'm going to have a good time with. Sonic Raid um, thing, name, uh, was it called again? <laughs> Rangers, that's it, thank you. Um, Sonic Rangers, I, that's the one I, I will keep, I will, um, keep tabs on, because, like, again, Sonic Team, you need to prove yourselves, and I'm not going to be convinced the game's going to be good until I see it like i they need to prove themselves that's basically what i have to say about that. they really do and i just think that they've gone they've gone all over the place in the 2010s 
Oh, they yeah, start. They, no, they sure. started off strong in col in colors and generations. Hit a bump with Lost World. And then, then they just, just stopped existing. They just, and then they forces. just fell into the abyss with uh, fucking uh, boom. Yeah. Uh, tried. Uh, looked like they were coming back up with uh, Mania. And then tripped over again when forces came out. So I feel yeah. like they've hit every single place they don't want to do. Yeah, I think that someone made this, uh, like, said this about uh, the Spyro series as well. But it's, it's like, um, what is it? They, um, they, um, and they, they, they rise from the ashes, and then, and then they, yeah, and then they just kind of bumped on the road a little bit, and then they, and then with Mania, they, uh, they got back up, and then they just got confused and bumped into a tree and fell. Yeah, or and something I, like that. <laughs> I'd say in regards to forces, they just got ran over by a fucking semi. Yeah, but um, <laughs> and then and then with Team Sonic Racing, uh, uh, someone uh, tie, uh, uh, tie, uh, tied some rope to the foot of your uh, of your squashed body, and then just drag you along. Yeah, but um. Which is, which is dark to think about. Oh my god. Um... Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I guess the the one thing we haven't mentioned, going back to uh, the merchandise, is uh, I have, I don't think I don't know if we mentioned this, but the I am looking forward to the, the Encyclopedia quite a bit. Like I, in in some ways, I'm actually looking forward to that more than Colors Ultimate because <laughs> I, I want to see I I want to see like if they're actually gonna bother. Um, saying like what is actually canon and what's not like what is going on with continuity in this series at this point the two worlds theory canon or bullshit hmm yeah like, we, these are things we need to know mm, yeah but it's like I just at this point it's just a wait and see kind of thing Ex yeah exactly there's the, things to look forward to. Um, I'm excited for the future. I just need to see. I just need to see the new Sonic game, and then, um, and then what the encyclopedia says, and whether it lines up with the new game. <laughs> yeah, like it, yeah, like I'm fine with it. The, the next game being 2022, um, and I, I just, it's like I just again, I just need to see it. Like show, like show a level or two to me. Prove to me that this is going to be a good game I, and I'll be fine. Like, I, I don't, I didn't, I don't need, like, I don't need the game ASAP. I just, I just need to, I just need to see it. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much, that's pretty much the, uh, the gist of it. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I, I'm surprised we had this much to say on. I thought this was going to be like, 30 minutes long to be honest. I did as I did as well. I thought it was gonna be 30 minutes to an hour, but we've been going on since like what? Uh going for at least two hours. Yeah. Well I, I yeah, I think I think I'm spent. I don't think I have much else to add. I'm completely spent as well. Um yeah, this is interesting too because we're completely well, I wouldn't say completely new. We we've done similar stuff like this in the past. Uh, this kind of discussion about a recent, uh, not direct, but di like something that's direct esque. Um, I, I, we're kind of new to this kind of thing. We're not, yeah. like, the <laughs> yeah. So it's gonna be, it's a kind of something that's kind of different for us. I'm unsure if this is gonna be strictly Sonic news or not. Like, whether whether or not I'll be covering the uh, the bloody hell E three's coming up. That's gonna be a lot of content. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're gonna get a lot of uh, gaming news really quick, really soon. I, I imagine we're gonna do something similar when E three hurts. Oh god, my channel's gonna have, hit a fucking growth spurt. I believe so. I don't know. I mean, if anything, this is a good time to start doing stuff for your channel. It is, yeah. It is a good point. Good uh, timing. Well, yeah. Although speaking of that, Harry, seeing as we've uh, seeing as we've uh, run out of things to say, and uh, we might as well wrap things up. Where can, where exactly can, uh, can anybody watching this find you? 
if they want to hear more of you. Okay. Um, well, if you want to watch me uh, play various games and uh, whatnot, uh, you can go to twitch.tv slash Super Mario Sonic Lover. Um, I have... Um, I do a bunch of uh, streams. I'm mainly uh, a Nintendo gamer, but I do try to do a, ver- a variety of other stuff. Um, you ha- you- I have like my own YouTube channel by the same name. Um, I'm not really <laughs> doing much on there right now besides just uploading stream VODs, but I do have um, an Unleashed playthrough going on that I will uh, try to resume soon um and uh, kingdom hearts 3 as well which is basically the same story um you can follow me on twitter at uh smsl aka harry i probably should change that um twitter name but i don't yeah i don't post too much on there but if you want if you want to see me retweet a bunch of stuff mainly to do with like love live and other such things then uh that's mainly what you're what, what you're gonna get out of me but <laughs> yeah that's basically it <laughs> small disclaimer love live is a good show go watch it <laughs> also watch toradora oh we should definitely do an anime episode <laughs> <laughs> we should also go back far enough on uh, harry's youtube channel you'll find us a, uh, a part of uh, you'll find an unleashed video with me and where i go about go on about some sort of weird theory i saw on facebook I we should like I still have a long ways to go with un, the Unleashed uh, LP, but um, if I if it comes to a point where I run out of things to say, I I wouldn't be opposed to doing another uh, collab session. That sounds good, man. Yeah, we we, we shall see. Um, uh, all you uh, well, all all I'll say is uh, all uh, all of Harry's links will be in the description below if you want to check them out. Yeah, boy. Uh, one do one thing that me and Harry do work on together is a channel called uh, Seize Brain. I don't know what uh, like Seize Brain commentaries, uh, which basically is uh, like a bunch like me, Harry, and a, pro- a bunch of other nerds uh, talking over uh, pre-recorded uh, game footage of any game that we feel like. So. Mm-hmm. I We're don't... kind of in a slump right now, but we, we are. But we that's... do we do want to we do want to bring it back soon. We are. Well, it, it, it's in the cards, so that'll be in the description yeah. as well. Yeah, I don't know when this is going to be uploaded, but hopefully, like we do bring back C's content in the coming weeks or months. Keep in mind the fact that I also work. I also have my job back, and I'm going to be. Absolutely, uh, chocker in terms of uh, my schedule is gonna be absolutely chocker until next Wednesday, so this is most likely going to be uploaded next week, sadly. Okay. So that's fine. So, so tonight, I mean, I'm based tonight is basically uh, sorry, sorry. No, no, I was just gonna say, I from I've basically just been waiting for my my like new PC to arrive before I like start doing more LP stuff and whatnot, so that's why I basically, at the moment, I've basically just been doing streaming and nothing but that. <laughs> Understandable. It's just, it's just the easiest thing to do. Hang on, let's have a look at the, uh, the date. So this is, so tonight is basically the 27th going into the 28th of May, so hopefully the, uh, the video shouldn't be out, um, any later than the second of uh, June. Okay. If I find, if I if I get any time uh, like uh, in between shifts, then uh, I'll get it. I probably end up getting it uploaded soon, but uh, but no later than the second. And then soon after that, we have E three. So uh, yeah, we have stuff to talk about. Well, there will be a lot to talk about, and uh, I yeah, hope anybody sure. watching sticks around to um uh, to listen uh, to listen to us ramble again. Mm. Yeah, this um, the I don't, I guess I guess it's just a random side thing, but this stuff this kind of gave me similar feelings to when um when we did those like those anime discussions um 
<laughs> we did about like, two or three of them and then just stopped. Yeah, yeah, it kind of gives me like a similar vibe to that, except we feel I feel like we have, we feel more comfortable with with the we're just talking about the Sonic stuff because it's something that we're more familiar just talking about. Yeah, <laughs> but um, it, it, it's been a while since we've done anything that's just us two talking uh, to an audience about something like this. <laughs> Well, it's uh, it's certainly an experience. I've not I've I've not done anything like strictly YouTube related in a while, so it's like so this is a refreshing also, experience for me. I also haven't done a podcast type video in a long time either. Well, there's definitely more to come, and like you said, E three is definitely it's a good time. It's a good time to get started with doing stuff like this again, and then because sure. It's basically because if you want to do something like this, then E three is basically like a job chucking you in at the deep end. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I agree. But it gets you used to it, and then you then you're more comfortable just covering the doing little small smaller updates on smaller uh, bits of gaming news. Mm hmm. So yeah, um, so if that's everything, that'll be. Yeah, uh, I, I think we've said everything we've we've spent we've completely spent ourselves so yeah. it's good night from me and yep. good bye good night from me <laughs> yeah pretty much uh if you if you like what you heard if you like what you listen to then uh, then please consider subscribing and hitting the bell as uh, as uh shilling as that sounds <laughs> good good <laughs> Yeah, well, with the uh, YouTube algorithm. Yeah, but considering how recent this uh, news is, I shouldn't have anything to worry about. But you know what? From now on, I don't think I'll be asking people to subscribe. If they want, if they want to, they'll do it. You, I know you got. I know you guys watching aren't stupid, so just you know, do whatever. Yeah, I, I, that's fine. Kind of why I don't bother saying that stuff on, for on my videos. Like, I, I kind of. It's just like if. I feel like people will just subscribe if they feel they want to. Exactly. But, you know. I kind of feel weird saying that now. <laughs> no, no, it's just fine. Like, you can say it if you want to. I know, but, you know. Anyway. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah. Take care of yourselves and uh, hope to, uh, hope to uh, see all of you again soon. Whoever, uh, whoever listened in today, take care of yourselves. And uh, wash your hands, stay classy, and uh, stay hydrated. Toodle, toodles. Goodbye.